Atop the tallest building in the busy river city of Evansville sits the remnants of a club where the movers and shakers of Evansville would gather, the Petroleum Club. Originally, the Petroleum Club started in the 1940s in, at the McCurdy Hotel. Uh, then it moved over to a hotel that was called the Vendome. Upon closing, they went back to the McCurdy for a couple of years, and then they went to a building called the Sycamore Building, which was the Citizens Bank at the time. The businessmen inside the club then agreed upon moving to the top of the old National Bank building where it lasted until they closed in 2006. And although the club has been closed for a number of years, its effects last on the people who attended even today. I think the special memories I have are of the people. Katie Dijon was the manager and she was like a second mother to everyone. Um, Tommy was there forever and very protective of, of all of us, just a super guy. Tommy Wilson, the major D, was a major part of the atmosphere around the restaurant. He served the Petroleum Club for over 36 years, and all throughout that time, he was revered for remembering every member's name. In the back area, we, we, were, we were a family, and we came together, and we wanted to make the members feel like it was their home away from home. Chandeliers and paintings filled the inside, painting a portrait of wealth and class. The, the chairs were all real nice padded chairs. Uh, the service was fabulous. The, the service was always good. We didn't wait for anything. But it was quite elegant, as I mentioned, I think. Uh, you, could, you could take someone there from out of town, from a big city, without fear that you'd look like a bunch of country bumpkins. It was a nice, uh, very elegant setup. There's nothing like it here today, and uh, uh, frankly, I think it's a great loss to the city. The Petroleum Club will forever be remembered as elegant and classy, and although the doors remain shut, it will forever be open in our minds. This has been an F.J. Wright's Feel the History production.